Welcome to Hypercar Global, the channel where we take a look at electric vehicles, Tesla and of course Elon Musk. Today we take a look at the Tesla Model Y without radar and how the Model Y reaches number 16 for best-selling cars in the world. Without any hesitation let's get into the video. Tesla Model Y without radar gets the ultimate forward collision and auto braking stress test. A Tesla Model Y equipped only with the automaker's 8 external cameras, and no radar underwent an extreme forward collision warning FCW, and automatic emergency braking AEB, stress test, thanks to owner Kevin Smith. Smith, who has a new 2021 Tesla Vision Model Y without any radar hardware, wanted to assess the all-electric crossover's ability to recognize and avert obstacles on a closed course. Smith said this was the second round of testing, and he used an inflatable clown as the obstacle that his vehicle would have to avoid to consider the test a successful one. In May, Tesla announced that it would be removing radar from Model 3 and Model Y vehicles that were manufactured in May 2021 and beyond. In an attempt to transition to a camera-based approach for its cars, a plan that Tesla set out many months ago, the automaker chose its two mass-market vehicles as the guinea pigs to accumulate data for future use. The Model S and Model X are keeping radar, but only for a short time. Eventually, both Tesla flagship vehicles will also transition to Tesla Vision. For now, the Model Y and Model 3 are the only two vehicles that will not utilize any radar hardware for the foreseeable future. Many owners who have utilized Tesla's autopilot of full self-driving suites for semi-autonomous driving capabilities grew concerned when the automaker announced it would be ridding vehicles of any radar, with the most common complaint being performance in severe or low visibility weather. Instead, Tesla believes that a vision-based approach will actually make the vehicle's performance much more robust and accurate, comparing the vision-driven system to that of a human driver. CEO Elon Musk commented on it during the Q1 2021 earnings call. When your vision works, it works better than the best human because it's like having eight cameras. It's like having eyes in the back of your head, beside your head and has three eyes of different focal distances looking forward. This is, and processing it at a speed that is superhuman. There's no question in my mind that with a pure vision solution, we can make a car that is dramatically safer than the average person. In Smith's stress test, it proves that Tesla's camera-based approach definitely needed some work early on. As a result, Tesla launched software update 2021.4.18.1, improving the performance of autopilot for vision-based automobiles. The vehicle successfully stopped while operating on autopilot based on multiple test runs with the inflatable barrier. However, the manual test, where Smith controlled the car and depended on FCW and EAP to stop the car automatically, wasn't as successful. All manual runs activated FCW, but EAP only interfered a handful of times. The vehicle didn't stop, either. It only slowed down, softening the blow and unfortunately deflating Smith's blow-up clouds. Other owners have indicated that Autopilot's performance with Tesla Vision has led to more confident showings of Autopilot compared to other vehicles that equip both cameras and radar. Tesla also added several safety features and new additions to Vision-only vehicles. Teslas will only become more confident as the neural net compiles more data from Tesla Vision cars as they become more popular in the coming months. Tesla's Model 3 reaches number 16 on the world's best-selling cars list. Tesla's Model 3 is the best-selling app of all time, it has now sold over 800,000 units, surpassing the Nissan Leaf, which passed the 500,000 milestone in 2020. That's all very well, you may say, but how do Model 3 sales stack up in terms of the overall global auto market? In fact, in 2020 Tesla's Star Ev was the 16th best-selling car, fossil or electric, in the world, a pretty respectable showing for a 14-year-old company. According to data from Focus 2 Move, reported on by James Morris, writing in Forbes, Model 3 sold a total of 439,760 units in 2020. That's over a third as many as the world's top-selling car, the Toyota Corolla, again, not too shabby for a model that's only been on sale in the US since 2018, and considerably later in other markets. The list of the world's top three sellers won't surprise anyone, the Toyota Corolla took the gold with 1,134,262 global sales in 2020, followed by the Toyota RAV4 and the Ford F-Series of pickup trucks. However, as Mr. Morris points out, there are some interesting insights in store for those who dig deeper into the data. As every observant traveler knows, the mix of models on the road differs radically from one country to the next. Ford's pickups may be number three on the global stage, but at home the F-150 is the undisputed king of vehicle sales. 
In the land of wide open spaces, if you ain't driving a truck, you ain't country. In Europe, by contrast, pickup trucks are seldom seen, except in the vicinity of farms. The US is currently lagging far behind EV leader Europe, but that might just change in a year or so, when Ford's F-150 Lightning, along with a wave of other e-pickups, including Tesla's Cybertruck, silently roar onto the market. Speaking of Europe, plug-in vehicle sales increased there by 147% in 2020, according to Hotto Dynamics, 137% according to F Volumes, and since the beginning of 2021, sales growth has accelerated. The top seller on the continent in 2020 was the Renault Zoe, which isn't sold in the US, which moved 99,261 units, followed by the pricier Tesla Model 3, in second place with 85,713 units. A completely different story is unfolding in the world's largest auto market. Four Chinese EV models made the global top 10 in April, despite being available only in China. The Wuling Hongguang Mini EV, no relation to the Mini brand owned by BMW, came out of nowhere to steal the show, in April it outsold Tesla's Model 3 by 2 to 1, and it's very close to usurping Model 3's number one spot on a year-to-date basis. Looking at April's figures, courtesy of F sales, it's apparent that the triumph of electric SUVs may be at hand. Unlike the pickup truck, the SUV is a global favorite and two new electric models have rocketed out of the starting gate. Tesla's Model Y outsold Model 3 on a global basis in April, and it isn't even widely available in Europe yet. Meanwhile, VW's ID.4 likewise pushed its non-SUV cousin, the ID.3, right out of the spotlight, it became Europe's best-selling EV in April, and isn't far behind Tesla in the global rankings. Several more highly anticipated plug-in models, from both legacy brands and bold startups, are slated to hit global markets this year, and one thing seems certain, the list of the top 20 best sellers is soon going to look a lot different, and a lot more electric. Tesla Structural Battery Pack Patent Hints at Clever Contingencies for Crashes, Cell Failures Tesla's next generation of vehicles like the Cybertruck and the Made in Texas Model Y will likely be built with a structural battery pack. Together with the company's 4,680 cells and megacasted parts, Tesla's integrated battery system is expected to improve its vehicle's mass and range significantly. During Battery Day, Elon Musk explained that the use of structural batteries on electric cars could be compared to how passenger aircraft eventually use their wings to store fuel. In the case of airplanes, the weight of the fuel actually provided rigidity to the wing, reducing wing flutter, or the vibrations of the wings due to airflow. Musk noted that a structural battery pack could provide a 10% mass reduction and an opportunity for a 12% range increase for its vehicles. A recently published patent for Tesla's structural battery pack reveals that the EV maker did not only look at cost reduction and range improvements when it was developing its next generation batteries. Tesla also looked at how the structural battery packs could help maintain if not improve its vehicle's safety. This was hinted at in the patent's detailed description, which reveals that the bottom layer of the structural battery would be created from a strong, stiff material that is also capable of deforming in the event of a crash. Tesla's structural battery pack patent also outlined how parts of the integrated energy system are designed to allow gases to escape from the battery in the event that a cell becomes damaged. Following is the pertinent section from Tesla's structural battery pack patent. Illustratively, an integrated, unitary battery pack may be formed and used as part of the structural support for a vehicle frame. For example, the battery pack may include a bottom layer that is formed from a honeycomb or ridged surface which is mechanically linked to cells within the battery pack. The bottom layer is designed so that it can absorb and distribute impact energy from below, mitigating potential damage sensitive battery materials or breach of the sealed battery pack enclosure. In one embodiment, the bottom layer is made from a material that has sufficient stiffness and strength to support the battery cells and react mechanical loads from normal vehicle operation but also can deform in response to a road strike from below that would otherwise cause failure in the battery pack system. In addition to creating a flexible or crushable structure, the series of ridges can allow gases to escape from the battery pack should damage occur to a particular cell, or in the event of a thermal runaway occurring within one or more cells of the battery pack. Tesla's vehicles are famed for their excellent safety ratings. Built without a heavy internal combustion engine in front, Tesla's EVs feature generous crumple zones that help absorb the impact in a collision. If the EV maker's structural batteries really make its cars more structurally sound, then Tesla could further establish itself as the maker of the safest cars on the road, 
bar none. Let me know your opinion on the Model 3 being the number 16 best selling car in the world? Will it rise any higher? If you enjoyed the video please leave a like and if you are new to the channel, why not subscribe? This way you support the channel, turning on bell notifications let you know when we upload so you never miss a video.